Good morning to you, good morning to you. We're all in our places with sun shining faces. Oh, this is the way to have a good day. Hello, my sweet students. Welcome to another week of music class. I am so excited to be here with all of you once again. We have another wonderful class planned. We're going to do some singing through our major scale. We're going to learn a brand new song. We're going to look at another rhythm. We are going to play a special game. And then we're going to learn some more about our composer of the month. It's going to fly by. I can't believe it. So, Let's get started by singing through our major scale. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do, do, ti. Very good. So last week we learned about our major triad and our major arpeggio. So let's go ahead and sing through those right now as well, starting with our major triad. Do, mi, so, mi, do. Very good. Let's do that one more time because I know it's new. So if you didn't quite get it the first time, here's your shot, okay? One, two, ready, go. Do, mi, so, mi, do. Very good. Now it's time for our major arpeggio, which is just like our major triad, but we add our top do to it, okay? One, Two, ready, go. Do, mi, so, do, so, mi, do. Super good, guys. Let's do it just one more time to lock it in there, okay? One, two, ready, go. Do, mi, so, do, so, mi, do. Excellent. Okay, so today we're going to do something a little bit different with our major scale. We're just playing around with it, seeing if we can get more and more comfortable with moving through those notes. So today, you're going to start your major scale with a do. You're going to go up to the next note, which is re, then you're going to go back down to do. Then you're going to go up to the next note after re which is me, right? So you're gonna go do, re, do, me, do. Do you know where it's going? Next, we're gonna go to fa. So you go to one note up, back down to do. The next note up, back down to do. The next note up, back down to do, until we are up at the top of our major scale, at that high do. Then, we're gonna do the same thing going down. So, from Do to the next note down, which is T, back up to Do, next note down, which is La, back up to Do. It's easier than it sounds, so let's get started and see how we do, okay? Just do your best. One, two, ready, go. Do, Re, Do, Mi, Do, Fa, Do, Sol, Do, La, Do, Ti, Do, Do, Do. Good, now from the top. Do, Ti, Do, La, Do, Sol, Do. Very good. 
all right, and that is all we're going to do with our major scale for today. So for today's song, I wanted to pick something extra fun that's going to get us moving. I know that with the smoke in the air this past week, I've been feeling a little down. I haven't been able to go outside as much as I usually like to, which is a lot. And I just need an opportunity to, you know, sing a fun song and get my body moving. And I bet a lot of you guys do too. So today we are going to be learning a super fun, easy song called Clap Your Hands. Let's get started. So here's our first set of words. This song has four sections to it, but it's all the same melody. So once you learn the tune on the first set of lyrics, you are going to be good to go. You just have to add some new moves into it. Okay, so let's get started. I'll sing a line and then you sing it back to me. Clap, clap, clap your hands. Clap your hands together. Clap, clap, clap your hands. Clap your hands together. Good, why don't we sing just that much before we get to all the laws, okay? All together, you and me. One, two, ready, go. Clap, clap, clap your hands, clap your hands together. Clap, clap, clap your hands, clap your hands together. Very good, so here is the melody for the laws. La, 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 la. La 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 Clap your hands together Very good. So, let's try the whole set of lyrics all together. So, we'll start at the very beginning and put it together. Okay? One, two, ready, go. Clap, clap, clap your hands, clap your hands together. Clap, clap, clap your hands, clap your hands together. La 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 Clap your hands together. Yay, good job. Okay, so now I think we should try all of those lyrics because they're so much fun. Let's try them with our piano. Okay, one, two, ready, go. Clap, clap, clap your hands, clap your hands together. Clap, clap, clap your hands, clap your hands together. La, 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 la. La 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 Clap your hands together Oh, very good. All right, so I think we're ready to put this whole thing together. So after you clap your hands, you are going to stomp your feet. So it's the same melody, but we're going to go stomp, stomp, stomp your feet. Stomp your feet together. Okay, and then after that, you're gonna go. Pat, pat, pat your head, pat your head together. And last but not least, you're gonna go. Shake, shake, shake your hips, shake your hips together. Okay, so it's gonna be so much fun. We're gonna do these moves. And when we get to the laws, I want you to get really quiet. So you're gonna kind of crouch forward, you're gonna keep your movement going, but you're gonna get a little softer. La 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 la. And then you're gonna keep on getting louder until we get to the last set of words. La 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 la. Clap your hands together. Okay, so 
So some of my older music students might recognize that as a crescendo. We're gonna crescendo on through it. We're gonna get soft and then we're gonna get louder, okay? All right, I'm gonna stand up so we can dance together and we're gonna try it out. All right, let's have so much fun. One, two, ready, go. Clap, clap, clap your hands, clap your hands together. Clap, clap, clap your hands, clap your hands together. La, 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 la. La 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 Clap your hands together Stomp, stomp, stomp your feet Stomp your feet together Stomp, stomp, stomp your feet Stomp your feet together La 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 Stomp your feet together Pat, pat, pat your head Pat your head together. Pat, pat, pat your head. Pat your head together. La 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 la. Pat your head together. Shake, shake, shake your hips. Shake your hips together. Shake, shake. Shake your hips, shake your hips together. La 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 Shake your hips together. Okay, give me one last wiggle. Gather. Okay, very good my friends. I hope you had a lot of fun with that song. Uh, if you have another movement that you think you could add to the end of it, you can do even more verses, even if it's like wiggle, wiggle, wiggle your nose or whatever you might want to do. It's never ending and you can get faster, softer, louder. There's so many opportunities to play with this song's structure. So I hope that you continue to sing it when you need a little bit of extra movement. All right, now we're going to take a look at our rhythm for today. Okay, wonderful. So let's start by reviewing the rhythms that we've already learned this year. For starters, we have the quarter note. That's the little black dot with the stem going up, and that rhythm gets one beat each. Then we learned our half note, and our half note looks just like our quarter note, but like we didn't color it in, and our half note gets two beats. Then, last week, we learned about our whole note. And our whole note, the one that looks like a big circle, that gets four beats. And remember, the whole note is called the whole note because in a 4-4 four -four measure, it takes up the whole of the measure. Which makes sense, right? We have four beats per measure in 4-4, four -four, so a whole note has four beats, so we couldn't fit anything else in there, right? So our whole note takes up the whole of the measure. Our half note takes up half of that measure, and our quarter note takes up a quarter of that measure. Another way to look at it is like this. I made us a little rhythm pyramid. So at the top of the pyramid is our longest note, which is our whole note. Our whole note gets four beats. So it would take two half notes to make the same rhythm as a whole note, right? Because our half note gets two beats, right? So two plus two is four. And our whole note gets four beats. Similarly, it would take us two quarter notes to make the same amount of rhythm as a half note. Because how many beats does our quarter note get? One. And what is one plus one? Two. And two beats is our half note. You could even extend this further and you can see that four quarter notes fits in the same space as one whole note, which also makes sense because our quarter note gets one beat, right? So one, two, three, four. Four quarter notes, one, 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 gets us four beats just like our whole note. 
Okay, very good. So I'm about to show you our rhythm for today. But before we do that, I wanted to remind you of what you're going to see at the very beginning of the rhythm before even any notes. And that is our treble clef. Can you say that with me? Treble clef. So our treble clef is that kind of squiggly thing at the beginning. And it is sometimes called a G clef because it helps show us where the G note is. So that last little circle that the treble clef does is outlining the G note like this. So you know that every single time you see that line and it has a treble clef through it, that's going to be a G. We are going to learn the letters of a lot of other notes this year, but we're gonna start with our G because the treble clef makes it so easy to find. Very good, we're gonna pick this back up in just a second, but now let's take a look at our rhythm. So here's our rhythm, and we are in four, four. Surprise, surprise. So that is four beats per measure, quarter note gets the beat. Try saying that with me. Four beats per measure, quarter note gets the beat. And you might notice from our lesson from like five seconds ago that every single note on here is on the G line of our staff using our treble clef. Okay, wonderful job. So I am going to clap a measure of this rhythm and then you're gonna clap it back to me. And when we get to the end of a line, we'll clap it together. All right. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Excellent job, and that's the whole first line, so let's do it all together, okay? One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. 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 Beautiful job. Here is our second line. I'll clap it, you clap it back to me. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Beautiful job. And that's the whole rhythm. So let's try just that second line all by itself. And then we'll try it from the top, okay? Second line, ready? One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. 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 Beautiful job. I think we're ready to try the whole thing, all right? Let's do it from the top. Do your best. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. 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 Excellent job. So, I told you that all these notes were on G and that that was going to come in handy later. And later is now. So, here's our G. And we are going to sing through this rhythm. 
It's all the same notes, so it shouldn't be too tricky. But what I want you to do is I want you to show me where the short rhythms are so you can separate your voice. So it'll sound kind of like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I'm going to sing through the half notes and the whole notes, and I'm going to break the quarter notes. So we're also going to clap it at the same time so you get the feeling of that rhythm. And I'll remind you that the rhythms that you need to clap or emphasize with your voice are in green, and the ones you don't need to are in black. So if you're totally lost, you just follow along with the numbers, follow the colors, okay? All right, let's give it a shot. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. Very good. All right, so that was your first time really reading music. So congrats. Give yourself a pat on the back. Great job. All right. So that is all the rhythm that we're going to do today. Let's jump ahead to a little game that I'm going to have us play today. So I wanted to take some time today to review our instrument families. We learned about our instrument families on the very first week of music class together. We have four instrument families. The first one, the string family. So that is any instrument that you see that has strings on the outside. Pretty simple, right? Then we have what is, in my opinion, the hardest one to tell, and that is called a woodwind. So a woodwind, there are two things that make it a wood and a wind instrument, wood and wind. So the first thing is the wood. There's always a teensy tiny little piece of wood either on the outside of the instrument or on the inside of the instrument that makes the beautiful sound that we hear. So that piece of wood vibrates ooh, and it goes through the instrument and that is what we hear when we hear that instrument being played. So the second part of that word is wind, right? So in wind in this instance is your breath. So a woodwind instrument is always going to be played with the mouth. So look for a tiny piece of wood, look for it being played with the mouth. Those are pretty good signs that is a woodwind instrument. And we're super lucky because our composer this month, Ennio Morricone, loves woodwind instruments. He features them all the time. So you guys have gotten a really good look at them over the past few weeks. The next instrument is our brass family. So brass, like metal, is that golden metal that you see. So a brass instrument is always going to look kind of golden on the outside. It's also always going to be played with the mouth. So it's hard to not get it confused with the woodwind. But if you're looking for that shiny golden metal on the outside, that's a really good way to tell that it's a brass instrument. And the last instrument is the percussion family. So the percussion family is all those instruments that you play by hitting them. So drums, bells, glockenspiels, xylophones, all of those different kinds of things are percussion instruments. The way you tell if you hit it to play it, even if you strike it with like a mallet or a, a metal stick, it's a percussion instrument. Okay, so I am going to show you these instrument families on the next page so you get a really good look at them. And then we're going to play a game called Where Does This Instrument Belong? So here is a picture in case you need a visual reminder of all of our different families. So you can look and see our string family, our woodwind family, our brass family, and our percussion family. So the name of this game is 
where does this instrument belong? So I am going to show you a picture of an instrument from the orchestra, and you are going to tell me which family that instrument belongs in. So let's get started. Here's our very first instrument. Okay, so immediately I see that this instrument is kind of this beautiful golden color. It's made out of a metal. And I see this little mouth valve right here where someone's going to blow into the instrument. So where do you think that might belong? I'm gonna give you like five or 10 seconds to think about it, okay? Okay, here is our answer. Ba -da 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 -da. This is a brass family instrument. Yes, we've got a beautiful golden metal and you play it with your mouth and that is going to be a brass family instrument. All right, here is our next one. All right, so this is an interesting looking instrument. I made sure to get a picture of someone playing it because look over here, she's got these mallets. She's gonna hit this instrument. So do we think that's gonna be strings, woodwind, brass, or percussion? Take like five seconds to get your answer ready and then I'll show it to you. All right, this is in the da 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 da, da percussion family. All right, very good. We've got two more. I did one for each family. So here's our next one. Ooh, okay, very interesting. So this instrument looks very similar to an instrument that's already on our screen. And here we see, if I tell you what I see, I'm gonna give it away. But what is he using to play this instrument? What is making the sound there? Take like five seconds to think about it and then I'm going to show you the answer. Okay, this instrument is in da 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 the strings family. So you can see that there are a bunch of strings on that instrument and our musician is using a bow to play them. This is what we call a double bass. It's like a ginormous violin and the violin is one of our string family instruments as well. Okay, very good job. We have just one more instrument. Let's take a peek. Okay, so here is our last instrument and I know it's a kind of funny looking picture of it, but I did this on purpose because I wanted you to look at that top part. What do we have there that should tip you off to where this instrument belongs? Think about it. Take like five more seconds and then I'll explain the answer. Okay, so this instrument is in our Dun, da, 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 da. Woodwind family. Good, so what I was trying to get you to see was that teensy tiny little piece of wood at the very top of the instrument. That is how you play the instrument. You blow on that wood, right? So you're playing wind to wood. So you have a woodwind instrument. All right, very good, my wonderful students. We'll do a little bit more of this, but wonderful job for today. All right, wonderful job, my friends. Keep looking out for those different instrument families when we are watching our videos from our orchestras. We are going to spend some more time learning about our different instrument families in the coming weeks, but for now, it is time for our Composer of the Month. So our composer this month, as I'm sure you're now very aware, is Ennio Morricone. He lived from 1928 to 2020. He just passed away this past summer. He was 91 years old, lived a good long life, and he is from a country called Italy, so he is Italian. And because most of his work happened in the 1900s, we call him a modern era composer.
Now, almost every single composer we study has an instrument that they really excel at, that they're really good at playing. And for Ennio Morricone, it was the trumpet. He loved trumpet. He played it in a jazz band. Another interesting fact about him that we've learned is that he started writing music at the age of just six years old, so it's never too early to start. And I've been telling you all these weeks that he was most famous for his film scores, the music that he wrote for movies. Every single year we have a big award show for all of the movies that were filmed and showed that year and it's called the Academy Awards and Ennio Morricone actually won one of these awards for one of his film scores. So in the picture on the side of your screen that is him holding up his award very proudly. Today and next week, we are going to be looking at some of Ennio Morricone's more serious work. So this isn't going to be from a Western. It's going to be from a much more kind of serious movie called The Mission. And this piece is called Gabriel's Oboe. So let's take a look at it in the next slide. Alright, so like I said, this piece is called Gabriel's Oboe, and an oboe is a type of instrument, a woodwind, the instrument you see on the side of your screen right now, and Gabriel is just the name of the character in the movie. He actually plays the oboe in the movie, so that's why it's called Gabriel's Oboe. And like I mentioned, this is written for a movie called The Mission. And it features solo oboe, so we have the most amazing oboe player in this video doing a beautiful solo line on oboe. And then he is accompanied by the string family, the string section, underneath him. So it's going to be a smaller orchestra than usual because we're just going to have the string family and a solo oboe. So violins, viola, cello, and double bass with an oboe playing over them. So we're only using the lightest instruments, right? So there's not going to be any percussion or brass or any woodwind other than the oboe. So keep that in mind. What might that sound like? What, how may it be different from the pieces we've listened to with full orchestra? So this is a very, very famous melody. Uh, I bet a lot of your parents might recognize it, even if they wouldn't be able to place it. And it has been rewritten for a lot of different instruments. So people love it so much that after they hear it on the oboe, different instrumentalists are like, ooh, I want to play that on the organ. Or ooh, I want to play that on the cello. Or ooh, I want to sing that. So they'll be like, Ennio Morricone, please write a version of it for organ or for cello or for voice or for a bunch of different instruments so you can hear multiple different versions of it on YouTube if you take a peek all right this piece is so beautiful it is one of my favorites it's so relaxing and gentle so if at any point during the piece you feel like you want to close your eyes and just kind of let your imagination take over please feel free all right Without further ado, I give you Gabriel's Oboe.
Yeah, that piece is one of my very favorites. I think it is so beautiful. It always puts me in such a good mood when I hear it. I hope that you loved it as much as I do. And I think that oboist, that musician, the soloist that we saw was so incredibly talented. I thought it was a real treat to hear. So I hope you enjoyed this little installment of our Composer of the Month. We've still got two more pieces to go from Ennio Morricone and they are both winners. So I can't wait to see you next week for some more fun and music. Until then, there is nothing left for us to do but sing our goodbye song. See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile, bye-bye, butterfly, I'll see you again next time. See you later, alligator, after a while, crocodile, bye-bye, butterfly, I'll see you again next time. I'll see